Well, hello YouTube. Here we are. August 2016. Well, of course, as you guys see, the uh, yard hasn't really changed much from, uh, well, the July update. Uh, pretty much right down to, the, well, the trailer still being where it was at. And, well, the uh, rest of the uh, collection as well. Well, I've been uh, doing a few things, uh, still surviving trying to make ends meet uh, day to day, month to month, trying to get back to where, uh, well, things need to be. You know, it's a constant daily struggle. Uh, they actually say that the Alberta um, economy is uh, take, tooken, or have, has taken a really, really big hit. The um, unemployment rate is 8.6%. Uh, which is the highest it's been since uh, 1994 and uh, even higher than like uh, Nova Scotia and places like that. Well, pretty much just uh, keep on keeping on trying to get, uh, well, day to day through everything that needs to be. Well, you guys will probably end up noticing some changes here on the Maxwell's Brutal channel probably as soon as well tomorrow I'm gonna start introducing uh, more videos to the channel start introducing uh, vlogs as well as fire pit videos on the Maxwell's World channel and if the Maxwell's World channel uh, transition works out the way I'd like it to then there will probably end up being a, a name change to the Maxwell's World channel and then uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop for videos. There will be videos every day instead of every second day. And if vlogs aren't your thing then well basically just uh, you know don't watch the vlogs and if Maxwell's World videos aren't your thing but vlogs are well then well there's Maxwell's World videos to watch. Well, we uh, bit the bullet again and uh, bought ourselves another uh, post office box for fan mail. I will put the address here as well as at the end of the video and as well as it, it is down in the descriptions, even going back a, um, you know, a couple of weeks, it's down there as well. Well, as you notice, uh, there is something missing from the yard. Uh, it is the 2015 GMC Canyon. Um, normally it's parked, well, right there where the Silverado is. I uh, know it is not uh, smashed up or burnt or written off or stolen or nothing like that. Uh, due to the downturn of the economy, the way it's gone, I had to make a choice between uh, giving the truck back to the bank or uh, selling the truck, getting out from under the loan, free and clear, and, uh, well, moving on. Now, of course, that happened really, really fast, and it actually just happened, uh, well, a couple days ago. Um, I had it all planned out, spectacular, like, that I wanted to clean the truck up, uh, make a big farewell video for you guys, uh, do one final walk around on the truck for the Canyon video series but pretty much it came up so quick so fast the decision was made by the powers that be and well really uh, when choices like that are made you uh, pretty much do it and uh, don't give them a chance to well you know reconsider right well like I said uh, the first step was uh, giving back the truck or selling the truck the next step is uh, trying to recover from the downward spiral that, uh, well, I was in for, well, the best part of, uh, you know, six, eight months to a year. I did notice the change uh, in my videos and uh, both the vlogging channel and the Maxwell's World channel, as well as the procrastination in filming a new season of uh, Fire Pit videos. It's kind of one of those downward, um, I don't really want to call it a depression or a depressing uh, time, but that's essentially what it was. 
you know there'd be days um, even weeks at a time where I wouldn't even leave you know this uh, one block area you know you leave the house to vlog uh, but you wouldn't really leave the yard and you wouldn't really go you know further than a block when you go to walk your dog you know a block or two and uh, well you got to pull yourself out of that because that's really no place to uh, no way to live you know um, now that the truck has been given back um, this there is a little bit of uh, financial uh, pressure took off and there might actually be uh, a spare hundred dollars where I can actually put it towards well things that are needing to be dealt with well we have uh, passed the three-year anniversary um, of the day that I broke my hand if you want to say three years that uh, my life changed uh, since my life has changed you know things uh, things happen they put you in a little bit of a spiral that takes you well a while to dig on out I've had uh, surgeries appointments in the cities you know specialist appointments uh, currently they want to inject me with something that uh, well hopefully doesn't uh, you know have any bad side effects but takes care of the discomfort and pain that I'm feeling and uh, well hopefully it all turns back to where she needs to be um, I guess uh, with the economy downturn the way it is yeah if I do recover it's almost the perfect time because I'm out of a job either way this way I can take the time that's needed to recover and then when things pick back up well it's all well well of course I have the social media pages both on Facebook and Twitter uh, go check them out I've gained some new uh, followers and uh, I do try to tweet and uh, post a little more regularly than what I have been um, again trying to pull myself out of the little winters uh, well you know year-long slump that I've been in the um, well house is doing well you know again still needing in some repair um, you know the garage and stuff I want to get back on the garage project but there's other uh, priorities that uh, um, the funds are needing to be um, you know put towards well the big shed here well it's still around um, I'd like to uh, do a couple of things uh, for organization in there uh, before the uh, freeze up and then well it should all be good well by now you guys have seen the beachcomber video and when the choice came to sell it I was as shocked as you were that I was actually doing it but I do still have the marathon trailer I was thinking about uh, listing it um, it's not really worth a lot uh, sad part is you can buy a new one for about a thousand dollars, but it doesn't have the upgraded, you know, tongue on it. The upgraded tongue alone is uh, about five hundred dollars the way you see there. And then, uh, you know, you got the rest of the trailer. So I have no idea what to list this thing for to start to sell it as. But at the same time, if I sell it, then I'm going to end up having to buy uh, one to replace it and it'll probably be more expensive and it's kind of one of those cycles it'll cost more money which will then put me back into well further debt right so I might as well keep this thing and uh, well it is what it is well I'd like to try to do some projects here uh, before the winter rolls in try to keep moving try to keep positive you know try to keep um, you know on track to where I need to go I was looking at those Facebook uh, moments that they put on your profile and it was right around this time of year that I started uh, plans to build that shed so there is still you know another month or you know month and a half or two before uh, winter starts to roll on in hopefully one of the projects that's been on the back burner for a while of course is uh, well you know taking care of the front yard um, I don't know if I should start it, uh, rip it all up, and leave it in its raw state, or if I should, well, uh, pretty much 
or if I should uh, leave it the way it looks, the way it is, and, uh, you know, for another year or two until things turn back around where I can spend money where it needs to go to be uh, where it needs to be. If I tear it all up, it's going to be a plain yard. Weeds are going to take over and it's not going to look very appealing. Uh, right now it has the cross between uh, looking like it's abandoned and kind of meant to be that way. Of course, the Maxwell's World Channel has uh, over a thousand videos now for you guys to watch, as well as about 820 subscribers. And well, we are still around, still keep on going. I'm going to continue this as long as I can, hang in there for as long as I can, and uh, hopefully things will turn around and uh, get back to where they need to be. The vlogging channel is uh, doing okay. It has like uh, 38 subscribers and uh, over 840 or so uh, videos. Again, some of those videos uh, will be appearing on the Maxwell's World channel. I'm not going to do a bulk drop of 800 and some odd videos, but we'll probably start uh, three or four videos back and then work our way uh, to present just to kind of give a, a recap on what's been going on. Uh, the uh, fire pit videos, of course, um, again, still kind of in limbo from uh, pretty much the same spot as they were, well, last month. Trying to get, uh, well, the uh, footage filmed, but sometimes things don't work in your favor for that. Of course, uh, pretty much another month passes, another day in the life. I'm hoping, uh, well, everything uh, works out the way it's supposed to go and uh, everything can get back to normal here soon because, well, I know I am not the only one uh, in this boat and I know I'm not the only one that's struggling. I guess that's just the way it is and the way it does, well, work out sometimes. But pretty much, guys, thanks for coming along on this August 2016 update and thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe and enjoy.